Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the next major version update for Windows 11 has started to make its way to users already. And Microsoft has begun the rollout of Windows 11 24H2 to Windows insiders who are signed up to the release preview channel. So that means that now making the annual feature update available to the release preview insiders means that this is a good indication now that to some extent or the other Windows 11 24H2 now is basically complete. Obviously there will be a couple of adjustments as we'll speak about in this video but basically 24H2 now um, which, is, which is expected to roll out in September October will undergo its final testing with a couple of adjustments in release preview um, before it makes its way to the general public in a couple of months time. Now according to Microsoft um, with the announcement um, for the update they say this year's annual feature update version 24H2 which is currently on build 26100 so that's our build for 24H2 26100.712 is available in the release preview channel for customers to preview ahead of general availability later this calendar year. So things are starting to um, get close now to our next annual feature update. Now, some of the kind of highlights that Microsoft does talk about in the um, actual announcement regarding this, and I'm just going to go through a couple of the new features. I'm just going to mention this because this is subject to change, and you'll notice that this update is missing a lot of the AR features because obviously those are for the Copilot Plus PCs as we have been talking about on the channel. So Microsoft highlights a couple of the following features and I'm just going to go through these quickly. Sudo for Windows, HDR background support, Energy Saver, Rust in the Windows kernel, support for Wi-Fi 7, voice clarity. You'll be able to create 7-zip and TAR archives in File Explorer. And I have posted on some of these previously. Bluetooth, low energy audio device improvements. And then currently, as you may well know, Copilot um, is, is by default to the right-hand side of uh, Windows 11. And you are unable to move Copilot around. So Copilot will be pinned like an app to the taskbar. And this allows you to resize, move, or snap the Copilot window. So basically, Copilot, um, Copilot will become its own kind of independent app, which I actually think is a nice move. Um, you'll be able to move it around and work with it like any other app um, on your system. And I actually think that if you are using Copilot, that is a nice move in the right direction. And something else to take note of, apps like Cortana, Tips, and WordPad will be decked deprecated completely and will be no longer available as I have been posting. So those apps will be completely removed with the 24H2 feature update. Now something to take note of that Microsoft says, and I have mentioned this on the channel previously, um, they say, please note that the new AR features such as Recall that were announced earlier this week will not be available on your PC after installing this update today as they require a Copilot Plus PC. So that's why I said this is 24H2 minus the um, main um, AR artificial intelligence features because those are now um, only going to be made available to Copilot Plus PCs with the relevant hardware. And I'll leave a video in the end screen regarding Copilot Plus PCs if you would be interested because we have spoken about that um, earlier this week on the channel. And then uh, Microsoft also mentions that um, they will be sharing more details in the coming months on many of the new features and improvements included as part of Windows 11 version 24H2 leading up to general availability. So what that means is that when the update rolls out, before the update rolls out, um, they could make a couple of adjustments to some of these features. And I'm actually thinking of planning I'm planning to make a video, quite an in-depth video, maybe over the next week or two. Uh, we'll have to just see how it goes on a more in-depth dive into the uh, 24H2 features. And um, I can get that out and give you a good indication as more or less what to expect when it comes to features. But obviously, um, they are going to be making a couple of um, improvements and um general tweaks and adjustments before the final product version 24H2 does roll out to the general public. So although it's available in release preview, um, 
things are subject to change in true Microsoft fashion. And then something else uh, to take note of is that if you do find yourself uh, as an insider in the release preview channel, you can install Windows 11 version 24H2 by obviously going to your Windows update page. If you are in release preview, this doesn't apply to uh, the stable version, only release preview. So if you check for updates or basically seek for the update, um, obviously you can download and install Windows 11 version 24H2 if you want. So it's not been pushed out um, as a compulsory mandatory update. It's been pushed out as an optional update as the feature updates are made available as optional updates, as you may well know, at first. So um, if you are in release preview, you can get access, as mentioned, to a couple of the so-called non-AR features. And the AR features, as mentioned, will be made available with the Copilot Plus PCs. And so it's a good indication version 24H2 is getting closer now. So obviously Microsoft will work on that a little bit more uh, before it makes its way uh, into the stable version in now currently where it's been tested uh, in the release preview channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.